Hey there, welcome to Certo, your trusted source for all things cybersecurity. So today we're tackling a question we get quite a lot. Can someone hack my phone just by knowing my number? So stick around because we're going to dive deep into this topic and separate fact from fiction. Hi everyone, Ron from Certo here. So if you've ever worried that someone could hack your phone just by knowing your number, well, you're not alone. It's a quite common concern, but how real is this threat? Well, let's break it down. First things first, you might have come across certain websites claiming that it's possible to hack a phone with just a number. Listen, these sites are usually scams designed to trick people into buying spy software that doesn't work as advertised. They make these bold claims to lure customers in, but in reality, they just can't deliver. So, is it actually possible though? Well, simply put, it's mostly a myth. It's extremely difficult, if not impossible, for the average person to hack a phone with just a number. Most of us will never be affected by such an attack, so if you've been losing sleep at night over this, well, you can relax just a bit. Now, with that said, there is an exception to this rule, Pegasus. This advanced cell phone spyware is generally only available to governments, but unlike typical spyware, Pegasus can be deployed remotely. So for example, Pegasus has been used in zero click attacks via WhatsApp, where spyware was installed through a missed call, or via iMessage where specially crafted messages could deliver spyware without any user interaction. Now, while these are sophisticated attacks that are quite concerning, they're aimed at specific high-profile targets, not the general public, meaning most people don't need to worry about Pegasus. Now, while it's unlikely that your phone can be hacked just with your number, well, there are other risks that you should be aware of. Here's what hackers might actually do if they do know your number. First, they could send you malicious messages. These could be phishing messages designed to trick you into revealing personal information like usernames and passwords. Alternatively, they might contain links to apps that, if you download them, could infect your device with malware. Now, another risk is SIM swapping. You see, hackers may impersonate you and contact your mobile carrier, convincing them to transfer your number to a SIM card they control. This allows them to intercept two-factor authentication codes, potentially gaining access to your bank accounts or other services. Next, if a hacker knows your number, they could also send messages that appear to come from you. This doesn't require any special skills and a quick Google search reveals many sites offering this exact service. You see, these spoof messages can be used for pranks or more malicious purposes, like scamming friends or family members into sending money. Now, some other online services can also reveal your carrier and the country you're in based on your telephone number alone. It's also possible to determine what type of device you have, which can provide hackers with useful information when planning an attack. And lastly, if you use instant messaging apps, then it may be possible for anyone who knows your number to see your profile picture. Hackers can use these images to create fake online profiles or social media accounts impersonating you in order to deceive others. Now, all that sounds scary. So what can you do to protect yourself from these types of attacks? Well, let's go over some simple steps. First up, if you receive any SMS messages with a link, be cautious before visiting it. Malicious links can lead to a malware infection on your device, exposing your data to a hacker. I mean, hackers, can easily spoof SMS messages, so always verify the source of any message that seems a little out of the ordinary. And if you're unsure, contact the person or the company through another means, like a phone call, to check if their message is actually legitimate. Next up to protect yourself, contact your carrier and set a secure, unique password for your mobile account. This will be required to make any changes to your account over the phone, which adds an extra layer of security. Also, whenever possible, use an Authenticator app for your two-factor authentication codes. This is more secure than receiving codes via SMS, which can be intercepted if a hacker has stolen your number. 
Now, if you have an iPhone, enable lockdown mode to protect your device against advanced spyware like Pegasus. While it does limit some features, it's a great way to safeguard against these more advanced types of attacks. The final thing to keep yourself safe is to use a reputable security app to regularly check your device for potential threats. I went ahead and included links in the description below to Certa security apps for both iPhone and Android devices. So go ahead and be sure to check them out to keep yourself protected. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this video has really helped put your mind at ease about what hackers can actually do with your phone number. So if you found this information useful, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more practical tips on smartphone security. I'll see you next time, and remember, stay secure.